Hello, folks. This is Helker X. Yeah, it doesn't all fit into the screen. I know. Bad editing, or just bad planning, or just... There's so much stuff here! I got my other Kickstarter stuff in uh, for the European Colonial Militia starter set. So, you've seen the Dutch. Now you get the European stuff. So, let's just delve into this real quick. Now, if you watched the previous video, you already seen the casualty markers laid out, so... Eh, we don't need to go through that. Just watch the other video. And I got the another bag of civilians. So we got some civilians. Uh, and the monkey dude. Uh, who doesn't like a monkey? Monkeying around. And I got one Corso. This guy is going to go with my Espanol. Or no, yeah. Probably. I don't have that one with uh, another commander for my forces. And let's just break him out real quick. Come out of there. Out of your baggie. All right, so there's Ron, little Mr. Corso. Looks pretty good. A little bit of flash there. So he should come together really quick. There's his card. And a little more information on the back. So, legendary commander for the Spanish. So, we'll have him. So, eventually, hint, hint, there's going to be Spanish coming along sooner or later. Whenever, I, probably after I get done with the Dutch, that would be the next thing to pick up. Then, we have the another French commander. So, that gives me a second one. Is Lawrence de Groff. So, big old chunk of flash there. Not bad, little miniature. Clean him up and get him ready to for a paint job for the leader type. And then we got the card. The information on the back which you can delve if you want to read it you can always pause it go back the, the wonders of uh, the pause button now I already I got another Paraga so this gives us two of these little guys so we got two Paragas so that's a nice little line of ships it's just like the other one bag of dice Except these are blood red. Kind of like for my English. That's the whole reason I got these. With that. And then another long boat. Which is just like the one I painted. So if you've seen the video of the painted long boat, it's going to be similar. And then for the Paraga, obviously we have the stuff to set up the sails, little, uh, what do they call these? They're not deck guns. Um, I have a brain lock here, what to call them. Swivel guns, there we go. Like little swivel guns. That goes on the ship. And then more cards, same cards. So we've got two sets of cards now. Now, then we have the European Forces Activation Deck, which should be similar to the other ones, except these are still in the wrapper, so you got the symbol on one side, then you're going to have the events cards, then you have ace, spades, clubs, and diamonds, you know, the different stuff, so it's the same thing, should be almost identical, except you have your faction on one side and the other now um, then we have the European forces the box set so this is where we're gonna get our cab we're gonna get our actual units military line troops so on this side it shows you we get four militia cavalry we're going to have eight European soldiers. 
And I'm going to do mine up in uh, British. So all this is going to be all British stuff. And then we get four cannon crew. You get a field gun. And then one mounted commander right there. So we're going to have a leader type to go with everything. All right. I'll break that open in a second. And then obviously you've seen... Well, you probably haven't seen it. I have the video. I, uplo I haven't uploaded it yet. Of the um, No Peace Beyond the, the Line, the book. I did a, yeah, it's about 20 minutes long, going through the, the big tome, the red one that I showed in the last video. I have to upload that one. That might take a while to do because I had to do it with my other camera. And that one, I can't use solo, so, yeah, I can't even say it, cellular internet to upload my videos, which I'm doing with my phone. So it takes longer because I have to actually use my internet at home, which sucks. Put it that way. So, uh, is this the Dutch? I think that's the Dutch. So you're seeing a picture of the Deutsch. Yep, that's the Deutsch. All right, just a quick look. There are some cool pictures in here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get that in there. See? Oop, got the glare. There's some Dutch units all done up. And you see that one. And you have your different Dutch units. And yeah, they're all painted. Let's get some yellow to them. So I'm looking forward to getting these guys all done up. So. It's a good book. And you have, and actually in this book we have the, um, what do you call it? Those civilians. There's rules for them, what they are and everything, what they do in the game. And it's basically stuff you use for uh, um, scenarios and whatnot. All right. I'll get that other video up as soon as I can. Then you can watch that one. Put this big heavy tome off the side. All right. Probably more curious about this one. Let's just break this one open. I want to see what's inside. All right. We have some blisters. Aha. Wonder where that was. Who doesn't like some pieces of eight? Okay, what we got here at the very bottom? We have the. Let's move the box out of the way for the moment. All right, so we have the European Colonial Militia card. Gives you all the information. On the back is all the stats for all of them. Kind of cool. Move my pieces of eight out of the way. Yeah, there, the armature metal. We got a cannon. And I see the wheels for it. Doesn't even love a cannon. It's gonna be a handy. Alright, so we have four blisters and a baggie. Let's just go into the baggie first. It's probably a leader type. It's in here on a horseback. I'm out of here. Open up. There we go. You guys move off the side for a second. Alright. Put that there. So, oh, okay. He's a two-piece. Part of the legs are already on the horse. So, I can see why they did that. So, this is one solid piece with the legs. Just probably take a little drilling and a pin to get this all finished up. Be really quick put that there then you have the body here that's just gonna go like so so he's gonna be already to rock like that so good to go and I'm gonna have to do some cleaning because if you look right here that is filled in with, that's a big giant hunk of flash that's all through there. It's going to take some work to clean it up. 
A lot of flash on this guy. This guy's horrible with flash. This is bad. It's going to take some cleaning and some carbon. But we can get her done. This one looks like the mold wasn't quite together and it just went in between the seams just filled it all in we'll make it happen and we got looks like a musket a sword and some other goodies here that looks like a scabbard so we got some options of how we want to deck this guy out probably for maybe what nation what sword he's going to use. Oh, there's a lot of flash on this horse, too. Just as bad. Especially around the stomach and under the... You can see it underneath the, the throat right there. So, there's some cleaning that needs to be done with that one. Alright, what we got here? Cannon crew. I don't know why the cannon is not in, oh, wait a minute. Let's just dump this all out here. We have one guy. Looks like he's carrying like a pike here. So we have that. That's probably the leader type. There's the main box. Alright, so yeah, that's probably the uh, officer of the crew right there. This guy has a couple cannonballs. Uh, this one looks fairly clean. Looks like a good mold was done on that one. This guy has the rammer cleaner. With a big giant chunk of flashing right there from the gate. That's no big deal. I just snipped that off and then with some metal clippers. Now, don't use your sprue clippers. Use your metal clippers. Go out and get some. They're cheap. So go to any hardware store. You can find them. And here's another one. All right, this guy looks like he has the one that shoved the cannonball in. That one's a swabber. This is probably. All right. Alright, so, oh, okay, that explains everything. We got probably a, uh, it's like a six pounder and a larger. So we got a small cannon and a large cannon. So we got two cannon for it. You know, you got your carriage to put that together. So the two mounting parts. And then we're going to have two different cannon size to go with that. That shouldn't be a big deal. So, looking forward to that one. All right, so we got that. Put the cannon crew over there. What we have here, we got European Musketeers. We got two boxes of them. We'll just open one. Let's see, there's make sure there's four in there. It looks like there's four. So these are going to look similar to a lot of the other stuff. They're going to have a like a bandolier of um, shot and powder type thing where they can put it in. This looks like your typical firelock before the advent of the uh, flint lock. Those are fire locks, wheel locks. A little bit of flash, not a big deal. It's going to take a little cleaning, but should do fine. There's another one that's firing, so we're going to have two units of the same thing. So when the pirates are, uh, this would be like what I was planning on doing is having a British force and you're going to go in and try to 
you know, have missions where you go out and clear out um, pirate strongholds or something like that. Or use them as marines on board a ship. Alright, so we have eight musketeers, one cannon crew, and then we have the leader type, and then we're going to have the calf. Lots of bits here. Alright. So we're looking at the same thing. I think, are these all identical? Sort of. Not quite identical. Uh, there's a mess there. Alright. We'll get to that in a second. Alright. Here's the horse. Looks like we got three different kind of horses. We got I got two of this one. Has a little bit of flashing underneath. We're really gonna be taking some cleaning up here. A lot of flash on the tail underneath the where they had the gate, spur gates in the different section. We got this one. Now this one's the prance. I think I might use this one as my my leader. Because I think Yeah, those two are identical. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna use this guy as my leader horse. Cause he looks like he's uh he'll look better holding a sword, aiming or holding it up in the air or something. And then uh Okay, he's got two double, so it could look like something like that, something like that. A little more action pose for my leader, but it's going to take a little bit of carving. I got these, a lot of flash here from the sprue gauge. Clean those off underneath. That's going to look good though. This is a little more action. Looks like he's galloping. That's the second option I think I would use for my cav officer. So other than this one, this is the, was the worst one with the amount of extra flash on it. But I can live with that. With metal miniatures, you got cleaning to do. Alright, so we have, he's holding a sword behind his head. And this one's aiming his pistol. That's my leader type. All the cleaning I gotta do with him. This guy has a sword and a... Is he carrying a pistol? Hard to say what he's doing. Looks like a chunk of flash on there. And another one with a pistol. We got two of the same thing. Oh, they're slightly slightly different. Different hats. It's almost the same pose though, but just a little bit differently. And obviously we have swords, scabbards. Etc. A whole bunch of and rifles. I have a few rifles here, so you can turn them into dragoons, scabbards, more scabbards, more sword and scabbards. Oh, a little bit of everything. That'll keep me busy. So, here in the future, you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, work being done to put all this stuff together. Cleaning it all up, when it's all done, primed, and then I'll start painting. And this is, you see, this is Saturday of the fair. So, if you've been following anything, you'll know that I've been busy with the state fair, so that's going to 
Um, it's understandable why you probably haven't seen much from me, but this just came in the mail and I had uh, one of these out there. Oh, I threw my leader in here. Where'd he go? How many leader? There we go. You two go over here. All right. Oh, dry dunes. All right, that takes care of everything for the unboxing for the um, Blood and Plunder Kickstarter that was done last year and it finally delivered. So Blood Plunder, European Colonial Militia starter set. Looking forward to putting all this together and getting it done. So here in the next few months, you're going to be seeing all kinds of videos and stuff uh, as I work on everything. And uh, put your comments down below, and uh, we'll talk with you later. Alcorex out.